Hi everyone, this is Eileen here from SingaporeOlevelMax.com. Today, um, I'm going to share with you a technique under quadratic called completing square. I understand that many students actually don't like completing square at all. So today, I hope through this video, you'll find a step-by-step -step approach useful uh, in helping you to actually do completing square question. Before I go into the steps itself, I would like to share with you one of the basic for algebra. What you see in front of you is your a plus b whole thing square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So this is actually a principle that is behind completing square. So being aware of this will perhaps help you to understand completing square better. Let's take a look at the question. Express x squared plus 4x plus 5 in the form of bracket x plus a whole thing squared plus b. So what you have in front of you is a typical quadratic equation. And the form that they want you to express in is what we call the completed square form. So let's take a look at what are the steps involved. First, you need to do ensure that the coefficient of x squared is 1. In this case, check number one is two. Um, I'm going to talk to you about, in, and in the next video, what happens if the coefficient is not one. But in this case, we we'll stick on to this example. Next, we're going to focus all our attention on x squared plus 4x, basically the terms with x inside. And this is how a completed square form part of it will look like. It will consist of bracket x plus a whole thing square. Your job is to get the value of A. And to get the value of A, we focus all our attention on the coefficient of x over here, which is 4. And what you need to do, you divide it by 2. So this is what we end up with. So that was step 2. Step 3. Next, you need to minus away A squared. Just now, this was a, which was 2. You need to minus away the square of a, so which is 2 square over here. 5, you just simply copy it down over here. And you have completed the question. We just need to simplify, and this is what we have. Now, the beauty about completing square is that after you are done with the steps, you can do a double check. For example, I'm going to double check. I'm going to expand my x plus 2 whole thing square plus 1 and see if I return to the original quadratic equation. In this case, yes we do, which means to say your completing square is correct. So, as usual, I'm going to leave you with a bonus question for you to practice, work on it, to see if it really grabs the basic concept of completing square. And um, I'll see you in the next video where I will go into part 2 of Completing Square. Thank you.